What's up y'all squares? It's from Ronnie and here is part three of Exploring Windy City Pony Con. So this is the line for uh, we're getting prepared for Ronnie's Reacts featuring Silver Quill and A Series Best. You know what? I should try. I should be in the front row. Excuse me, pardon me. She'll be tapping her leg like the entire time. Flash them lights. Hi. Hi, Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good evening and good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing? Good. Are you guys excited for Winnie City PonyCon 2019? Yeah. Well, I want to thank you all for coming out here. It's Friday. Uh, we're we just got done with opening ceremonies. Yes. And uh, we didn't break anything yet. Yes. 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 Hello, everybody out there in the room. How are you doing? How have you been? I'm well. How are you? I was asking that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, you guys ready to have fun this weekend? Yeah! Well, welcome in. This is the Bronies Rack panel. How many of you have never seen Bronies Rack before? Nice. There we go. Some of the hands. So, so by that... Usually it's the opposite. Where that's the amount of people who have seen Bernie's reaction. <laughs> and then they all get up and leave once they realize about five minutes in what this is. Uh, so for those of you that have never heard of Bernie's React, or at least never seen it, uh, it's a YouTube series that's been going on for over seven years now. Right? And, yeah, no, I, I still remember trying to put the first one together. Just as hard as putting the next one together. So, um, yeah, no, it's, it's been going on for a while. It's a uh, it's a react series. So what we do is we pull together uh, some familiar faces in the fandom, and uh, yeah, we'll react typically to episodes, uh, big episodes, season premieres, season finales, sometimes uh, movies, you know, stuff in the middle, quest for girl stuff. We never really know what we'll be doing next, but uh, <laughs> apparently something's happening this weekend. Uh, this little thing you might have heard is the season premiere or whatever. Yeah. Oh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out now. I I have avoided trailers. I have avoided no spoilers. Yeah. Please. Yeah. So so yeah. We're, I'm gonna, I've been avoiding everything. No uh, spoiler intended. From like season three on <laughs> that. They were like, you know, season two finale was so I don't want to spoil anything, but Twilight gets wings. Oh, and you have a But I found out on Tumblr about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah. Um, now, one thing we're going to be doing for this panel uh, is it's going to be heavily Q&A based. So we have our Q&A mic here, and then stories will kind of just spawn from there. Uh, and just to make sure that we try and get through everyone's questions uh, and whatnot. We, we'll go ahead and open up the Q&A mic here, so if you want to make an orderly line. We love talking to people. Yeah, so we, we want to, we want to, and, and they can be random questions. They don't have to be like, be like, why is Utopia the worst Disney film? No, they don't have to be like, let me answer that for you. Why are rabbits bad characters? Uh, to this convention, we hope you all have a good time. This is a very open, friendly environment. We want to 
Make sure you all feel welcome with your questions. If you guys are introverts, you can watch and completely, completely understand. Yep. But also, don't be shy to ask us legit questions about Bernie's React. If you want to ask stupid questions about Bernie's React or anything at all, you'll be like, why is Rainbow Dash best? Or not best, Bernie? No, 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 I think we call that a Freudian best pony. <laughs> best. Woo! Nice to meet you. <laughs> and I'm Saver Spark. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Save the Spark. So it always takes the first person. Imagine who, who this. Don't, don't be shy to be the first question. We always get bonus points. See? It's oh. like a nature where like that penguin hops in the water with the orcas. And the orcas like, let him go first. We won't get that. Or you know what the penguins run up the cliff? <laughs> hey, do you, do you know what the names are called? Women? No. <laughs> I'm not answering that question. Certain types of questions. Uh, well, I did find out this past week that Alexa also will repeat what you say if you set a reminder. And um, yeah, the first test that Sarah used to show me this was she said, Alexa, set a reminder for me that Zootopia sucks. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh boy. And, uh, and I didn't know like how this worked exactly, so so then a few minutes later, I was in the kitchen and I hear Alexa pop up and go, you know, this is a reminder, Zootopia sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> She said, what? Like, and, and yeah, so, so Alexa... Mm. <laughs> is, is, she, is she on eBay now? <laughs> no, she was out the window. Oh, <laughs> she was on the ground very hard. Um, so yeah, yeah Alexa trained on me. And, and for anyone that doesn't know, by the way, I'm, I'm a mildly, mild fan of Zuko. <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's gotta be much bigger. Yeah, a little bit of context for those. So, what was your other question? So, Crusaders of the Lost Mark is one of my favorite episodes, and that react made me cry. But it was that bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I cried for everything, so it could have been that good, it could have been that bad. <laughs> but at the end, with like everybody hugging and crying on Michelle Creeper, how did you guys organize that? Were you just like, hey, we're just going to come on you and cry, or like, was it just spontaneous that you ran we into We just found her by his own was just it was actually, I, I was a part of it. Was a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> was it Burning Man 2018 or something? Yeah, it was 2017. Yeah, we're, we're friends with Michelle and, uh, and our buddy Glenn, our friend Gabe, yeah. works with her, or he worked with her. So um, we're like, Michelle, let's do a gag and cool, done with this. She's like, let's do it. And, and that's, for those who don't know, uh, Michelle Creeper is the voice of Apple Bloom. She was <laughs> one of the main characters in the episode. And all the Bernies were like coming out of the woodwork, like giving her a hug. Is that the? Oh, that, no, that was that was perfect. That was perfect. Sorry, perfect. Yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's okay. We cried at both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I meant. But yeah, yeah that's also a so. One. So what we did was we all got together at BronyCon and and did this huge hug sequence. And and I to give credit, I think it was Little Shy who first approached me with. We we got to do something. Yeah. And, and then uh, then we all kind of came together with this idea of oh my gosh we need to just just ham this this finish up with with all of us getting together. And then of course because Michelle was there, uh, we're like oh we could go all out with this. Uh, and and Michelle being Michelle was cool with it. Like oh yeah let's do it. I think my favorite right. part is you have all the different characters from Bernie's React showing up to give her a hug, a bigger hug. And then there's just this random guy who's like, that looks fun. And, he's like, <laughs> and you see the moment, you see the moment in it where he like, he's like part of it and then sees the camera and is like, oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and starts backing up like, I shouldn't be here. <laughs> I'm filming this. I remember, I remember hearing Dusty Cat in that hug. I didn't know what was going on because I was somewhere in the middle of it. <laughs> and hearing Dusty go, no, no, no. <laughs> he's like pushing people away, spotting them like flies. Like, wait, wait, wait. wait. And he's talking big Macintosh to him. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> so yeah, um, but that was, yeah, that was a lot of fun to, to get everyone together for that. And, and it honestly, I feel like created one of the more iconic moments of, of Bonus React. So, Absolutely. Yeah, thanks Hello. for your Thank you. Hello. First off, AC Race Best, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Phil Mabroni, I'm one of your new subscribers on YouTube. Oh. 
and it's a pleasure to meet you and Save the Spark as well. And I'd like to say that congratulations on your writing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you for uh, subscribing to me before Save the Spark too. <laughs> you're, quite, you're quite welcome. Um, second of all, how do I how do I participate in the Bronies React series? Oh, yeah, this question. This is always uh, and and I always enjoy this question because I'm I'm flattered that uh, you know a lot of people ask the same thing. Um, so with Bronies React, when I first created it, it was without the intention of it even being a series. Uh, it was just just going to be like, hey, this will be a one-off video, a joke uh, parodying the Fine Brothers video about MLB and uh, the people who watch it. Um, once we made it a series, I liked the idea of having some regulars on the show and then also having some kind of one-off characters or people that'll show up from time to time. And, um, and yeah, like essentially, it, it all started with the basis of working with friends and I luckily have the opportunity to continue doing that. Um, but as far as when people ask, like, what, what helps uh, get someone on a Bronies React is uh, I always go back to making an impact. Whether it's, uh, it doesn't just have to be with videos, uh, it could be with, with music, it could be with art. Um, they're, they're, the idea of impacting the community, uh, I always enjoy getting people that, uh, that others can look and be like, oh, this is, this is what this person looks like, or, or what they're doing when they're not doing their regular shtick. Uh, and, and you know, just kind of joking around and, and joining us, and and uh, so yeah, like making an impact. And it doesn't just have to be like oh, community wide, or it's not a popularity contest by any means. Uh, but there's also like you know, just making an impact on me. And uh, like one of, I guess one of the groups that I can and reference this uh, is Fire Team Harmony. We we met them at Con the first year that convention happened, and they were just walking around just. Just goofing on everything. For those who don't know, those are the guys who have like pony themed like Master Chief armor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. At, least, yeah. at least one person in a Halo Dirt B uh, is there? cosplay walking around. Yeah. And and so they like in that particular instance, I had never seen any of their work, any of their videos. It was just seeing them walking around, just being jokesters at the convention uh, that we were hosting, and they they asked a question. And then, as uh, Andrew Lidman and Peter New and, and uh, a couple others answered their question, they turned around to leave, and they turned to each other and go, who were those people? <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, but it was so funny, like, it was just like that genuine, like, we don't know what we're doing, but here we are. And, and yeah, and Saber and I kind of looked at each other and went, we got to get these guys on Brody's Rack. And, and it's, it, it's been stuff like that, you know. Um, but I've, I've had so much fun working with everybody, so. Long-winded answer to your question, but I, I just make content, make stuff, and, and you never know where it'll lead. Build, build yourself up as a creator, and, and let your own merit speak for yourself. And there's a chance, and it's not like it's like uh, I can't speak for you. Well, it's not. It's not like some people ask how many subscribers do I need to be on Burning Track, and I, I don't. I don't go. <coughs> No, I'm sorry, you're it's not. It's not like he, he's a bouncer at a club. He's like, your name's on the list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we have just before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your channel? What do you, what do you make? Well, my, my YouTube channel is Filmabroni22x. Yeah, what, what kind of content do you do? Well. Or is playing? Well, so far I did a voice reader for snails. Okay. Which. Which. Speaking of which, I have another question. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with the back. Are you familiar with the other background characters, Snips and Snails? Oh, yeah. Oh. Of course. I wait yeah. and I see them. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of disappear, don't they? Yeah. yeah. I, mean, yeah. Like, I mean, Snails ended on the high note, at least. They the did end end Oh, yeah. Ball. Uh, I, I was like, I was like, did I miss an episode where he dies? Or something? <laughs> 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 you are my brother. I'm the king. Uh, keep making content, keep growing, and uh, we'll see where things go. And that applies for anybody. So, yeah, cool. Thank you. I will do it at my very best of my ability. Hey, we look forward to it. And third of all, since I did a voice reel for snails, snails have a question for you. Okay. In your episode, Flutter Brother, um, what was Fluttershy's reaction of Zephyr Breeze moving in? Oh, 
This is a quiz. Silver quill, you take this one. Yeah. Uh, well, let's see here. I think he was just trying. Thank you. 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 No, no more questions. We have to, like, we have to move to the next person. Oh, okay. Feel free to get back in line. That'd be all. You can get back in line if you like to, but let's keep it moving. Okay. Hello? Hi. Hi. Um, random question. Good. <laughs> it is weird and random. All right. What do you think is in that temple? I was thinking the same thing. Why did this lamp? I think I think it's the ultimate deep dish pizza. Oh, yes. Whoa! The deep dish pizza to end all deep dish pizzas. Golden crust and everything. Well, we're close to Chicago, so I hope that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm hungry. Thanks for that. <laughs> And if you steal it, you're going to get ran over by a meatball. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you know, you a you know, noodle for the win. I like that. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Just a random thought. I love it. No, I mean, I'm, I'm glad someone brought this up. <laughs> so, uh... Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, race. Yes. Do you have a Nick Wilde documentary? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, do, I do not. Do you know that there is a vendor next door who has one for sale? Oh boy, okay. just what I need. <laughs> <laughs> Please, my See, I, I think that's the benefit of getting married, right? Is that now she, only Sarah, Sarah has, uh, she'll just accept everything that I've done. <laughs> Did you remember that divorce is a thing? <laughs> oh. Yeah? <laughs> so, I'll uh, have to check it out. I'm, a, I'm excited about this weekend. It'll be a good weekend, everybody. Is that a snake that for a second? Always. First of all, sort of serious for me to ask that question. Okay. With season nine looming as the final season, are you guys worried at all about not having content for Ronnie's react? Do you, I mean. Man. I, I don't think right there. The room, but no, no. I, I, I mean, it's a legit question, and it's something that, um, I mean, as, as we know, season nine is the last season of. Generation four of My Little Pony. The, the, the My Little Pony is not going anywhere as a franchise. It's one of the Hasbro's big like bullets, along with like Transformers, GI Joe. Where they're going to go, okay, let's just do it over again and and release another generation. So like ponies won't go anywhere. But G four coming to an end. Personally, I'm like, let it go out with big. Let it let it finish with. If I can get a good conclusion, I'm like, mm, I'm good here. Thank you. Versus Spongebobbing or, or Simpsons where it goes on forever. Oh. 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 And, and in, in regards to, to Brody's react, like when we, when we do the react to the season 9 finale, um, there's... What? I'm, just la I'm, like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm laughing because like, we're going to have stuff to react to forever. I guarantee there's going to be a video where it's like, Brody's react to Saber Spark dying. <laughs> 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 Of all, of all the things that we could have, that you could have brought up. <laughs> <laughs> the camera pans over to Dusty. Is this a family friendly time? Never mind. <laughs> all the vision has people holding up swords as he dies. It's like the saber in his eye. There could be only one. He choked on a meatball. <laughs> Didn't make it out of the temple of the deep dish. Okay. <laughs> I keep derailing things, I apologize. No, no, it's, but, but essentially, um, I was going to say that there's no intention for Brawny's React to end after the Season 9 finale. Um, at the same time, like, it's not something where I'm like, oh, we'll milk this for, forever, but, but I, I don't see us being done with, uh, with the franchise uh, yet. And, and again, who knows what's to come in the future. If there is, you know, a Gen 5 that comes out, Whenever, you know, I don't see why. The beauty of Brony's React is that if it's really good, 
then it's it's fun. If it's really bad, it's, it's even fun. more fun. <laughs> so so no matter what, I feel like we're gonna go into gen you know generation five. Um, which I, I guess I'm talking about speculation for a gen. It will happen. We're not sure when, but like it, Hasbro, they they follow them. They'll, they'll, there will be a generation. They're in the money. It's like Disney, not actually doing Star Wars or whatever. They, they will. So, so yeah, we're calling for that. Yeah, yeah, start over right now. Although, uh, if we ever reach the point of a uh, Brony's React paint drum. <laughs> yeah, we are. Like Man, I, the only reason I say that, by the way, is this is like one of my favorite food locations as far as like conventions go. Midwest. Sorry, Blue Mountain is the best. What's that? Blue Mountain is the best. I, I, I gotta say though, I always love it when I see New Yorkers get into it with people from the Midwest with pizza. Because like, I grew up in Georgia, so we know nothing about pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny when like, I have a friend who's a New Yorker, and he's like, eh, that's not pizza, that's not pizza, it's, it's, it's pie! It's, it's lasagna! And the guy would be like, what you say? What you say? <laughs> <laughs> like, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> I'll take both slices. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheese and tomato, I don't want bread. But, uh, but I mean, one of my favorite things about, thing about the convention is walking around and seeing it. Go to the gaming room, go to the vendor hall, go to the tabletop stuff, see people having fun. I love seeing people having fun and having a good time. Hope I had to random panels. Because um, we've been doing this, like, we're blessed enough to be able to be on stage right now talking to y'all having kind of like a really cool spot in these conventions and the convention circuit of like getting our panelists you know, usually accepted and stuff like that, which is really cool. But it's really also, genuinely nice to go out and see people just having a fun time doing their own panels, holding their heads in there, and just seeing them like laughing and enjoying themselves. So I kind of like to do people watching during these conventions and being like, let's see what people are up to. And plus, like, like one of my favorite things about these conventions is just meeting you guys. Yeah. Like, like in a, in a, seriously though, like it, it means a lot to us. I mean, you guys, you guys are here, and and and. You know, joining in and having fun with us and, and hearing the stories and whatnot, it's, you know, that's that's a big deal to me. Um, I also heard, by the way, if, if you're asking about a specific panel, did you hear that there is an M.A. Larson appreciation panel? Is there actually? Yeah. 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 Is it here? No. 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 Thank God. Are you kidding me? Skype you? Yeah. No. Yeah. But uh, to answer, also, uh, as a serious answer, um, I'm excited, I won't get into detail because of uh, the nature of this convention, but I'm excited about the later night vendor hall. So, yeah. just because I'm like, wow. <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm kind of conflicted because one, I really want to attend your how do YouTube panel, but I'm in the vendor hall, so I don't know if I can get there. We'll film take, the, take the table. <laughs> 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 Selling stuff here. Buying right? stuff. <laughs> Where's your table? In the back. <laughs> What's up, dude? One last question for the three, for the three of you guys. Okay. With Generation Four coming to an end, as well as the last season of the series, how do you guys feel about Generation Five, and what are your opinions about their designs? Those designs oh. aren't confirmed, as far as I know. Yeah. The, uh there a lot of concept art got leaked online. It was various versions of them, which I like seeing because it's fascinating. Uh, who here bought the art of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic at the, the movie? Oh, okay. I so go for that. One hand in the back. It's fascinating to just flip through and see the sketches they made for all these creatures because it looks nothing like was actually in the movie, but it was a start. And I love seeing uh, the creative process in here to those. But, Nothing's written in stone. And one of the very curious things about a fandom is people love to get mad about something that hasn't happened. <laughs> <laughs> you are very, like, ready to roll, like, oh, how like, dare you? Um, <laughs> people about the United States being the thing. They're like, they? <laughs> they won't last. <laughs> You're a free team. <laughs> but they won't last. <laughs> Dang it, they got bigger. But, um, no, the concept thing, that, that is so true. It's so neat, like, going back to old Disney films and seeing, like, what they originally, like, started off with. Because rarely 
will you actually will that be the final product? You see them change clothes and designs and height and, and everything. You see some like core things. Where, okay, I see the idea. I see where where you all are going with and how it evolved. So that being said, with the concept that's out, we're not even sure if it's real or not. It might be like okay, this is where this is ground zero. This is what they're working with. We'll see where it goes. But uh, I will watch the show. Um, and again, I'm pretty sure they'll do a G5 and. and Probably go, we're not going back to the old days where it's like, Pinky Pie Guy, you know, <laughs> banging her head against the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, on that note, like, same with, like, you know, having the Zootopia art book and seeing what the characters looked like at one point. It, it is so different from <laughs> what it ended up being. Very, they, didn't they basically say, this doesn't work? Like, the trash. Yeah, yeah. The story itself developed like eight months before the movie. Released. That's like unheard of. Yeah, and and then uh, I was also going to say the one thing that's interesting um, at Disneyland they have this this huge room devoted to animation. I love this room, by the way. And if you go to Disneyland, you've got to check it out. Yeah, and it's this huge animation room, and they show concept art and like seeing some of the concept art for like Frozen. Yes. Before it came out, Elsa was supposed to be so straight up evil, this this evil queen, and then they were like, wait a second. Let's change the story and make her more so, of a sad story. So who yeah, who knows what we're gonna get? I just hope it's not too far down the line. That's my only my biggest hope for it, is I'm like, give it give it two years Let and then show up. Yeah. 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 So so that's my my biggest wish is that it just doesn't take too long to get here. So yeah, thank you for your question. You're welcome. That'll be all. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi there. I'm back. Wondered if you could tell us about the origin story of Brony's Rack. The origin story yeah, of Brony's Rack. There was a dog rainy night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how it happened, how it started. Yeah, so uh, again, uh, there's a YouTube channel um, by the Fine Brothers where they make uh, reaction videos. Um, they really, it started out as just like, hey, we're going to make reactions, and then they started making, oh, what if we, you know, these kids' reacts were huge because they had kids reacting to stuff happening online that the kids wouldn't have an opinion about, and it was hilarious. So then they decided, what if we branch this into having teens react to stuff? And one of the topics that they had them react to was the fandom. Was, hey, let's have them react to My Little Pony, and specifically, the guys that are watching it. And all they showed them was the intro of the episode, or yeah, the intro of an episode, and and that was it. It was it was just the opening sequence. <laughs> I, I, I was angry about that. Was that it? Was that it? Yeah. 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 So yeah. so of course the opinion started flowing and the questions of why do you think older men are watching the show and the teens were very opinionated about that. It's recording, by the way. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing? That's good to hear. Are you excited for the season nine premiere? <laughs> That's good. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm? Hello? Yeah. It's always a pleasure to meet you new folks. Derpy! Hey, Derpy! Hey! <laughs> I am gonna head back to the panel room, which is the, you know, vendor hall. Uh, Kika Floyd. Boy, look at all these panels. Look at that. And there is Sarah Vichard. Yeah. Stickers. Oh, I don't know what it is. 
I'm sorry. Yeah. It's been so long. I don't. It was like each oh, one is so unique. I sometimes really don't know what it is. I can it's 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 like, yeah, that's up here. Just like run right through oh, you. It's like, sorry. I forget. I forgot to say. Excuse me. How rude of me. Yeah. So there's the fall of Equestria books that they were talking about. Hello. I've heard of it, but I never, you know, I never seen the videos of it. Uh, well, it starts on the raindrops, like the, the, the domain. Hello, how are you? How's it going? Behold, stuff. Wow. This is awesome. Yeah, I like the new designs that you designed. Thank you. Yeah, I like the new designs you got there. See you guys, um, keychains and pins and all that stuff. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We've got stuff for even the cheapest of skates. Hmm, is that right? <laughs> like what? Oh, it's the laser light stands, they call it. That's right. This is looking kind of good. Yep. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hi. Where's Key? Did I hear Key Freight? Derpy, hey Derpy. Are you, are you excited for the last season, the season 9 premiere? Yeah, that's good. Can't wait to see you in the show. Yeah. I just don't know what went wrong. <laughs> yep. I'm alive. Hey, yeah, Bliss. How you? How are you so far? Doing good. How are you? Good. I am awake. I am alive. You, I am well. You sure? Yes, I am. <laughs> you look kind of sleepy. For you look asleep for like a short second. Just a little. I think it's just because it got really cold here, and I've been burning energy dancing. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's her fault. She plays all the cool music. Oh wow. <laughs> Sorry, it's your fault. It's all your fault. You're making me burn energy. So yeah. So I see you got some very cool, um, very cool stuff right there. You got the twink. Yeah, you got the Twink merchandise, you got the Fund of Light merchandise. You got the Blissies. Yep. Wow, that that looks nice right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like this one. It's my favorite. Don't talk to me till after coffee. <laughs> I, I have standards. <laughs> and my badge is twisted. Oh wow. <laughs> I also like your slogan that says, keep an eye out for those rainbows, they will make you smile. You have a very nice slogan for your channel. Thank you. 
I have a slogan for my channel too. Yep. I love y'all bronies to death and don't forget to keep it fantastic. That is my slogan for my channel. Nice, I like it. Thanks. I see I've seen him before. I forget his name. Uh, Science Steel Rail. Sci Science Actually, Steel. He's just over there. Blue shirt. Yeah. Hey there, Science. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Phil Mabroni. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You and I will argue over science. Yeah, we will. Science. Except I'm medical science. You're phys nuclear you're physics. Nuclear physics. You're an actual person. <laughs> yes. Like, so what do the cutouts look like? Huh? What do the cutouts look like? These are the cutouts. Oh, okay. And they're 25. Question is, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for season 5. Oh, Dr. Wolf uploaded too. the preview today. I just watched that too, and I'm like, oh. Alrighty then, Doc. No spoilers. No spoilers intended. <laughs> and this is what this is what her business her business card looked like. That's yeah. just one side. There you go. Yeah. Best boy. Yeah, best boy. Best princess. I really like this Kingdom Hearts one. <laughs> so yeah, for those of you guys who are interested in Lightning Bliss's channel, feel free to check her out. Her channel is in the description below. And feel free to follow her on Patreon as well. That's also going to be in the description below. Any questions or comments you'd like to add? What he said. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and like, like she always says, keep an eye out for those rainbows. That they will make, make you smile. smile. <laughs> you got that right. Keep up the good work. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>